Hi, my name is Mwalimayala and most of my students call me Sir Joe. Welcome to the presentation of another topic in geography which is called physical geography or geomorphology. Dear students, before to go ahead, I want to remind you that in the previous lesson we described about atmosphere which is a part of the S, which is just based on climatology. Thereafter, we discovered about another subtopic or part of the S, which is called which is called the hydrosphere and it consists of a topic which is called the water masses. Dear students, today we have to describe physical geography or part of the S, which is called the lithosphere. For instance, in the previous lesson, we discovered this Earth as a planet or said planet which really things can be found. And this is consists of four things. There is the atmosphere, atmosphere, there is the hydrosphere, hydrosphere, another part is the lithosphere, lithosphere. And the last one is biosphere. Biosphere. Dear students, the S is a planet. In order to call this the S, it must be consist of these four things: atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, and biosphere. Even in form one, you learn these things. This atmosphere is the organizational difference gases which hanged up by gravitational forces. And the top key in advanced level is called is called climatology climatology i think we learned to each other about this topic thereafter we learned about part of this which is called the hydrosphere and the, the topic in advanced level is called called water water masses and wherever you 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 did it learn together this subtopic you have to found the copy Today we have to describe, or to uh, we have to describe another subtopic of the S, or part of the S, which is called the lithosphere. And this lithosphere is just based on the crust. Therefore, lithosphere in advanced level there is a, a certain topic which is called the, is called the physical geography, physical geography, or geomorphology. Therefore, in this lithosphere or uh, the crust. It consists of geomorphology at the top key in, in advanced level, geomorphology. But this biosphere, these are just living things which can be found in the atmosphere or to the climatology or in water bodies which is the water masses or atmosphere or lithosphere or within the ground you can discover different organisms, for instance, plants and animals. Therefore, dear students, today we have to describe at the part of the S which is called the lithosphere and the topic is concerned geomorphology or physical geography. Dear students, this geomorphology, this is a Greek word which is categorized or is formed with, with three things. This is the word geomo, geomorphology. geomorphology. The word geomorphology is just it consists of four things, uh, of three things. The first one is called the geo, which means S, S. And uh, there is another which is called the morpho, 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 morpho. And the last one is the lodge, lodge, which is that study about, it's concerned with the study, but this is the land, land form. Therefore, the, the word geomorphology is just consisting of three things, which is geo, morpho, and lodge. Therefore, geo means earth, and morpho means landform, and, and lodge is just meaning study. Therefore, whenever we're talking about physical geography or geomorphology, geomorphology, this is the Greek word which consists of three, as I told you, three words. Earth, landform, and a study. Therefore, geomorphology, this refers to the study of landform on the Earth surface, on the Earth surface. Therefore, whenever I talk about geomorphology, this is the study of landform on the Earth 
is the study, is the study of landform on the AC surface. Dear students, because this is the study of landform on the earth surface, and this landform is likely to the word which is called relief. Relief. Not only that, but is likely to the word which is called land, landscape. All of these two, all of these three words is like to each other, meaning general appearance, general appearance of the earth surface, appearance of the earth surface. Therefore, whenever we're talking about landform or relief or landscape, this is the general appearance of the surface, either highland or lowland. Even yourself, you can determine there are some different features which can be taken place in highland area, for instance, plateau, hilly, mountains, escapement, pass, spurs, uh, saddle, and others. Even to the lowlands, for instance, cliff, uh, uh, flat plains, leaves, and others of the same kind. Dear students, because we are talking about geomorphology, are the general appearance or the side of landform on the air surface or general appearance of the air surface in the highland or lowlands? This weight it can be described as the, this uh, shown on this paper. Hence, this geomorphology is the scientific study of earthy landform. And the meaning of landform, I think, has been described as the general appearance of the air surface. Okay, landform are varied in terms of shape and size. Dear students, actually this landform, it is varying or are different in terms of shape and size. For instance, you can determine yourself that there is some hill or mountainous which are large in terms of height or attribute than other, other features. Therefore, whenever you are talking about landform or general appearance of the surface, it can be varying in terms of shape and size. Shape, appearance. For instance, escapement at uh, the part of landform. Escape, escapement, escapement, escapement. This is the landform whereby one side is easy, gentle, and the other side is steep. For instance, you can determine this contours, which is just numbered. One side is easy, easy, close to each other, but other side is easy, far away to each other. This is called escapement, whereby you can determine yourself that there is a certain mountain as whereby. In one side is steep, but the other side is gentle. For instance, this, uh, this landform. Uh, this is called escapement. One side, one side is steep, but the other side is gentle. This is the difference in appearance to another mountainous or hill, which are all are, are steep in all sides. Rather than this one, which is steep in one side, but the other side is steep. Uh, steep and uh, gentle rather than this one or both sides is steep in nature dear students this are uh, difference in shape and size due to the difference in natural process there is a difference in process which can cause for the formation of this landform the natural process which have resulted to the formation of earth landform are called the geomorphic process the process or the one which can be causing or forming the formation of landform is called the geomorphic process. And this geomorphic process are of two, depending on where it's operated. Either internal geomorphic process or internal geomorphic process. Dear students, whenever we're talking about internal, internal, this is just taking place within this class. For instance, this is the air surface where people they are just building or providing their settlement. But this internal geomorphic process is just taking place within this class, and the results or the effect can be happen within and they can occur even too on the SC surface. Another is the external geomorphic. Uh, this word external is just taking place on the surface. For instance, wherever there are certain forces which can cause for the formation of certain landform, for instance, hill or mountainous. But this landform at the hill or mountainous, it can be distracting or reducing its appearance or the size and its shape due to different factors, for instance, erosion, eh, deposition, and which can cause for the changes of this landform. This is just taking place on the surface or external, not, it's just, it's not operating from within the surface, it's just taking place on the surface. That's why it's called 
uh, external geometry process and uh, we will describe more in this topic. Dear students, internal geometry process including all processes which operate within the AC crust. And the internal geometry process, as I told you, that is just the internal is just taking place within this crust inner parts. And this internal is consists of the following of the following subtopic, which is called earth movement, earth movement, or the astrophysm at the earth movement. Not only that, but also there is the volcan, volcanicity, and the earthquake. This is just taking place where within the for instance, volcanic is can be taken place volcanic, not vo, volcanic movement from within this class, and they can be taken place even on the surface. But most of this one is just taking place within the class, volcanic. But this way it's well to differentiate volcanic and vo, volcanic. These two ways are different in nature because this is the process of internal or external, but this is for external. Therefore, this vow is belong to this one. Wherever we reach to the subtopic of recanistry, we describe more this step or this technology. Dear students, the astrophysm are the part of internal S movement. This refers to the S movement due to different internal forces, which are vertical movement, vertical vertical movement or horizontal horizontal movement. Dear students, whenever you are talking about vertical, this is the process of land formation which can be taken place in terms of vertical. And whenever you are talking about vertical, it is a situation of material to be moving from downwards to upwards or from upwards to downwards. And because for different formation, for instance, the material can be forcing to go upwards which can cause for the formation of hill mountainous or uplifted areas. But wherever the earth will be moving in terms of downwards, and this one is vertical, and wherever it will be moving in terms of downwards can cause for the formation of depression. For instance, a basin or depression like, like Victoria Basin or Kyoga. Because Victoria is a basin, and wherever we be filled with water, we obtain the key, which is basin, right, like in Victoria or Kokia or Chari. Dear students, that is a vertical. But wherever we're talking about horizontal earth movement, or at the part of basin or earth movement, this is a process of material whereby it can be diverging to each other or converging to each other. Wherever we're talking about, for instance, horizontal. A horizontal movement will describe more this that is just based on tensional forces which is the vagueness of material and the compressional forces. Dear students, whenever we're talking about tension, tensional forces, this is the process of material which is just diverging, diverging to each other. Diverging is to separate from which is origination. For this material is just taking place at the same, but it can be moving apart moving apart or it can be moving from different areas and to go to converge because it's just horizontal in nature rather than the previous one which is vertical which can be upwards or downwards but this horizontal is a process of material which can be diverging to each other at the tension forces or compressional compressional forces whereby material is just converging to each other from different areas and they come to this area and converge and cause for the formation of uplifted areas. But wherever it is just diverging to each other can cause for the formation of valley at the mine, mine of landform. But wherever it will be converged to each other can cause for the formation of for the or or uplifted areas. For instance, this is a structure which is just illustrating the the movement of the S in terms of vertical. This is uplifted whereby the material was within the S class which is just pushed upwards and cause for the formation of hill or mountains is just depending on the shape. But wherever this material will be forced downwards, downwards it can cause for the formation of basin or depression. Therefore, there is different causes of the S movement and we have to describe here to each other. Earth movement, it can be positive with different factors that can be natural or artificial. Dear students, whenever talking about these causes, it can be caused with natural, 
without man to be influenced. But whatever I talk about artificial is whereby the man is the man of the one who can cause for the movement or changing of the landscape or shaking of the earth's crust. Natural factor can be move, movement of magma. Dear students, this magma is the materials after to be so uh, to undergo to undergo certification, which was a molten nature. Before was molten molten in nature. But whatever will be cooling and to change from liquid, it can be so uh, changed to the certification as uh, the magma, which will be remain within within the S crust. But will it, whatever will become on the S surface is called the rubber. Therefore, this earth movement, it can be a factor can be at the natural one, it can be cause the all movement of magma within the S crust. All gravitation forces, this is the attraction to each other. Forces and convection currents. Convergence is just based on the forces of compression, whereby the material is just converged to each other. Not only that, even the mantle and the associations adjustment, whatever talk about the associations, we describe more in this parts or this this causes in deep re, or indeed. Therefore, for instance, associated adjustment is this this associate is consists of two ways which is equal standing wherever the material one area is just with heavy weight it should be caused to be uplifted or downlifted so as to balance the material dear students we have to start the first one which is called movement of magma as i told you that wherever the line of weakness created in the s crust because of motor movement through that line of weakness leading to the movement of crust either vertical or lateral which is horizontal dear students there is a word here which is called called motor this motor as i told you that this um, material which are liquid form wherever is just liquid like porridge it can be changing from liquid into the salt states in terms of after to be cooling with a certain air and uh, to be changing from liquid into the solid, solid states. And whatever will be remain within this crust, it can be caused for the hardness area which is called magma. Magma, like this movement of magma, which is just move, taking place within this crust. Whatever this material will be moving and they come on the surface is called lava, as I told you. Dear students, for instance, this material, magma or motor material, is just passing to the area of weakness. Weakness, this is an uh, area of crack, crack, crack. For instance, fissure, fissure or vent. This is the part of crack or weakness whereby fissure, fissure is the smallest crack, but wherever the, the crack will be large in nature is called the vent. Therefore, this magma or motor material is just passing through to the area of weakness to come either to remain within this crust or come on the surface and cause for different landform of different shape and size. Dear students, not only this factor, but also there is another factor which is the second one, which is called the gravitation forces or pressure. Dear students, Whatever we're talking about the pressure, this is the forcement of material from within the, the, the S crust. For the gravitation of forces that tends to be pulling all objects to the uh, center, exerted pressure on the crust local to fill up the currents which have been left behind by escaping of magma. This movement which is both vertical and inwards, it can be moving in terms of vertically and inwards causes the surface of the earth to form depression or sucking of sections. Dear students, here this is the attraction of material wherever will it be within this crust. There is difference of materials, for instance, gravity, uh, there is material which is called radioactive material, which are very viscous in nature, radioactive active material. For instance, uranium, uranium, radon, radon sodium, a uh, reed and others and the other elements of the same nature which are very forceful in nature whatever will be moving or forced to be to come on the surface can lead for the sc to be moving to each other dear students not only that but another is the convection currents of motion these currents move from inside the mantle 
towards the upper surface of the mantles and then horizontal and finally vertical inwards. Dear students, this is the where material is just converged to each other from the S crust. For instance, material was moving from this direction to another area. Whatever will be attaching or converging to each other can cause for the formation of land landform, either uplifted or down, downlifted, but mostly it's just uplifting and cause for changes of landform. As I told you, the landform is the general appearance of the surface, either highland or lowland. Apart from gravitational forces, there is another, another natural forces which is called the associate adjustment. This weight is consists of two weights. There is the iso mean equal standing, but this state is just standing. Therefore, we have to position a landform in terms of equilibrium or balance. Therefore, the therefore associate is equal standing where when the S class is disturbed with the motor materials in the mantle tend to move so as to maintain a state of balance within the S crust. This movement causes the movement of the S crust. Dear students, for instance, the land mass was not equilibrium or was not balancing to each other. For instance, this is just 20 kg or kilogram and this is 80 kg or kilogram. And this land mass in terms of heavy of all weight is just one side is low and the other is high. Therefore, we have to maintain or to make balance between these two landmass. For instance, in order to be 80, this formation, it should be lies to upwards so as to reach to 80. Therefore, this landmass will be uplifted and the other will be down, downwards so as to, to get 80. Not only that, Wherever we no longer to, uh, to undergo uplifting in terms of vertical. Therefore, this material of 80, it should be distracted to downwards so as to reach 20 kg at the ones. Therefore, wherever will be uh, lifted, uh, will, will it be uh, downlifting, for instance, this material will be distracted to come on the, uh, within the stress or downwards. It can cause for the formation of basin. For instance, this is 20 in nature, and we want to move from 80 to 20 kg so as to balance or to make equilibrium. Therefore, here we have to make a certain landform which is called basin. Basin, wherever or depression, wherever this basin will be filled with water, we obtain lake, for instance, Lake Victoria, which is the basin. This is just equilibrium or to make it equilibrium between two land mass. Dear students, apart from that, there is another factor which causes for the S movement, which is natural nature, which is called the falling of the heavy body. Dear students, here we have to, we are just talking about the S movement or shaking or mo uh, moving of the material from one place to another. For instance, wherever there is a, a, a certain body which will be hitting on the S crust, it can cause for the S movement to be uh, to be shaking to each other or moving to each other. For instance, wherever, uh, according to this or so this description, when a heavy body like a meteorite see, fall on the ground, it can cause for the shaking movement of the S crust. That is that in the in the S testimonials or shaking or movement. For instance, uh, there is a certain year which was taking place in Malampaka, Shinyanga, whereby the metro was uh, heated the S crust and cause for the S to be moving in terms of, uh, because that metro is heavy in nature. Not only that in Malampaka, but also was taken in, in this country or in Tanzania in another area which is called Mbozi Mbea. Mbozi, Mbozi, Mbea, Metro, Mbea. In Mbea, at certain district which was in Mbezi, this metro was heated or was falling down in the cause for the AC movement. We are just talking about the AC movement, which can be because of the difference in factor. Among this factor is falling of the heavy object for AC metro. Eh? Vimondo, Kidondoka on the surface, it can cause for the AC changes or movement. Dear students, that was the natural one. But we have to describe the another which is at visual. Whenever we talk about at visual, we are just talking about the things which can be because we see human being. For instance, heavy moving of vessels like train and a heavy loaded truck 
uh, cause shaking of the earth movement uh, of, of this class sometime lead to the occurrence of mass swelling like soil cripple or anxiety and lock falling.